All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, and welcome back to some more Dragon Blade. So we're gonna be taking a look at the new patch notes and seeing what's new. I'm gonna try and hurry up and do this before uh, day two of E3 starts. All right, so already we're getting new Exalted. So Lust is finally coming, which I plan on building because she's like a really good damn uh, PvP unit. And Gluttony. Okay, is that it? Before I start going into the skills? Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, let's just go down a little bit more. So the Summer Battle event is coming back with the alternate cards, which are basically just skins. And then there's also some other rewards inside of the shop. You can see at the very bottom. But overall, it seems like you can only buy up to one per count. Does it count hours that we already have or is it just, I'm not sure. But I think the newest one is um, L's. L, oh yeah, here it is. So the ones we haven't gotten is L and I think um, Turks, I think. Or was it T? No, it was, Tear and um, L are the new ones, right? Because I think so. <laughs> it seems like after maintenance, or before maintenance, apparently. Oh, no. Wait, I'm reading it wrong. So after this, you can also buy them with 2,000 rubies. Okay, I'm going to need you to move over here. Damn it. You're in the way. Okay, that great space monster event is going to come back. And this event is basically where you can earn a shit ton of rubies. And it's actually worth using or joining. Because joining this event just... <laughs> dear God, you get so much for finishing, like, off demons. I've seen people get, like, 100k and, and higher with just finishing this event. <laughs> it's mostly because they're OPS motherfuckers in this game <laughs> all right so using ruby event okay so basically consuming your rubies and you can get these rewards so there's only going to be two of them this time hmm huh. even though there was more last time i guess they toned it down because not a lot of people reached it there's going to be a special long end event receive a thousand rubies I'm guessing that's a whole login. Okay. Okay, so the special login is going to be ended. Yeah, yeah, just a whole bunch of events ending. The whole Dragon Buster key event. I'm pretty sure that's key chain event. But yeah, they forgot the out the chain. All those are ending. All right, let's get into Lust. One of my favorite tanks for all the right reasons, you know? <laughs> Anywho. All right, she's a warrior, tank, physical, and she absorbs enemies' buffs and decreases their evasion, which you guys should know evasion. Well, hitting your enemy is very important because all that missed damage just makes you miss out on kills and the whole bunch of damage you could be doing towards, like, bosses and stuff like that. But let's get to you. First skill, inflicts damage to the highest attacking unit. Well, highest attack unit decreases their evasion by 50% for five seconds and silence them. It's on like 10 second cooldown. Jesus Christ, man. That could actually be pretty good. Well, all of her stuff is on low cooldown. All right, second skill, inflicts damage to all enemies, taunts all of them for eight seconds. Remove all the debuffs on yourself. Cast those debuffs on the enemies. During those eight seconds of taunting, Lust has reflection damage. So yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely building her because that first and second skill are sounding nice, nice right about now. Uh, third skill removes one buff. Oh, remove buffs from one enemy. Seduce them. 
all enemy attack will be directed towards the seduced enemy. Oh. So it's basically like Foxy's uh, little takeover where she takes over the unit and fights for her. Except for the characters getting seduced and everybody's just like, oh, well, time to kill our teammate. <laughs> that That's interesting. The seduced enemy cannot attack or receive buffs while seduced for 10 seconds. And all received attacks become critical. The seducing skill works on all enemies except bosses. This skill ignores the immunity and evasion in phase two. Okay. And the seduced enemy under a phase two cannot receive, oh, cannot be removed by normal. But yeah, that stuff. <laughs> Basically, just can't be removed if you're on phase two. What is that? Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the whole affinity thing. All right. First passive. Anytime an enemy attacks lust, one of their buffs is removed, and that damage equals up to 10% of their max HP is inflicted. Does not apply to bosses. Oh, so every time they get a buff removed, they take 10% of their HP. As damage. Oh, okay. Well, fuck, you're just going to be basically killing yourself. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Second skill. Increase max HP of all allies by 100% and received reduced damage by 10%. Additionally, when the enhanced level is increased, you'll get more max HP for all allies. Third skill. Well, third passive. If received damage is bigger... Than 80% of your H, your, your max HP, you only receive 80%. So you still, so you still pretty much survive with 20% of your HP left off that. I wouldn't say that's good as that is good as ages, but you know that's still not too bad. At least you can't be one shotted. You are always immune to instant deaths. So Gray Soul is useless. The other characters pretty useless so she can only be straight up killed by power not insta kills Jin is also useless against her alright enhanced skills increases single target attacks for all allies pretty good enemies subdued by seducing oh the, second, the third skill enemies Seduced by the third skill, cannot receive any healing for 10 seconds and cannot be revived when they die. Also, by the way, all your allies get, get their single target attack increased again if it's maxed. Okay, so let's see. So the First, the first passive, if you're not max, you're just going to have the first little layer right there of just increasing everybody's single target. But if you get to max enhance, you get the second little passive right there under it that says you can't, that the seduced target can't receive any healing. If, that, if you guys are confused about that. Uh, the second passive. Increase all allies' attack speed by 10%, but with your ultimate enhance, that changes into increased attack and attack speed for all allies upon normal attacks. 10 seconds after using the third skill, Lust gains invincibility for 10 seconds. All right. The third passive, decrease crit damage received. I'll decrease crit damage to all allies. Wait, is that receive or just reducing everybody's crit damage by? 
I'm guessing that's the received crit damage, because that would make no sense just to screw up everybody's crit. But okay. But once your arch enhancement, 10 seconds after using the third skill, inflicts damage to all enemies, except boss types, equal to 30% of their HP, and silence them for, well, we, don't, we will never know the seconds of that, apparently. It's, <laughs> yeah, they have a little bit of typos for sure. If you receive damage bigger than 10% of your HP, only recent only received 10%? Okay, this should just be 10 times harder to kill if she's Arch. Okay. God damn. Decreases crit damage by 80, by 90%. I think that's it. Yeah, 90% of all allies. Pretty sure that's received. I want to say that at least. Okay, let's see. So, Affinity skill. Gains yourself immunity on phase two for five seconds upon entering the arena. Using the second skill, reflecting all damage directed towards Lust, and the attacking enemy will receive additional 25 their attack during the duration I, I can Jesus Christ this is so small I wish I had my PC <laughs> but hold up reflects all damage directed towards lust and the attacking enemy will receive an additional 25% of their attack during the time duration okay so You'll just be receiving more damage the more you attack Lust. Okay. When Lust HP drops below 90%, all attacks received by Lust becomes healed and immune is immunity is gained. Oh, so she basically gets um, somewhat of... Who is it? Diana, Helsing, and um, Kronos is like kind of regen well and storm bears okay but it but it's kind of different because she just straights up heal off of damage so i'm guessing it's kind of like the other the titan healer not uh perseus the other one with the mirror each time you do damage it heals the whole team Okay, yeah, I, I kind of read that wrong. Yeah, it's kind of like her instead. It's not It's not like um, Storm Bear and him. But let's see. Increases single target damage by 310% and increases max HP by 250% for all allies. Each time you infinity enhance, it increases both your attack, your single target attack, and your max HP. All right, infinity abilities. Increase single target damage for all allies and increase your max stamina by 135. And your party's normal attack will increase by 1,080. By 1,080 percent for all allies. And that's the one reason why I'm getting her because she's actually like really, really good towards PvP. A little bit of PVE in the in the slightest, but not as good as PvP. All right, Gluttony, the one character I know nothing about. This is probably going to be really, really troublesome against his own team, just as much as Sloth is. Okay, Gluttony, Mage, Magic DPS. Increases your magic attack. First skill, inflicts damage. Wow, inflicts a lot of damage. Chance to insta-kill all enemies except bosses. Excuse me? Who are marked... Oh, I was, about to, I was about to say, excuse me? Who are marked with food. 
and ignores their immunity in phase one in evasion. Boy, I was a, oh, <laughs> I was about to say fifty percent to kill everybody. Okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Marta's food is the second, the second uh, skill. Inflicts damage to all enemies. Cast the second skill to to hit enemies. Enemies that have the Marcus food receive additional damage of Gluttony's attack for every hit for the next 10 seconds. I'm really hating this whole phase one first phase second phase thing really hating that throws me off so much when I'm reading all right inflicts damage to one enemy and it inflicts additional damage for every cent hold up okay that's the third passive we'll get to that first passive every time one enemy dies gluttony and one sanity or sanity I think, I think it's Sentity. Or Satity. That is, it's like really small for me, guys. Okay, just just work with me. Stacks up to 100 times every Sentity. Increases your magic attack by 5%. This effect does not disappear even after you die. Oh. Oh. Okay. That could be useful in like pretty long-term fights. Uh, second skill increases your additional boss damage. Additionally, it's enhanced. Oh, additionally, when enhanced, it increases. Your additional boss damage is increased by 15% per level. Okay. That, that's pretty nice. When there's only one enemy left on a battlefield, your boss, your additional boss damage is increased. That's second phase. This phase only is activated when managed. Oh, when Gluttony manages to die. Blah. Nope. It will only be managed until Gluttony dies. Okay. <sighs> All right, third skill. Using the second skill increases by one, increases your intelligence and your additional boss damage. Okay, so the more you just use the second skill, the more of those points you you pretty much get. All right. <laughs> Let's get into the max and other passives. All right, increase your single target damage. And if you're max enhance, your stack goes up to 500. Jeez. Increases your single target damage. And using the third skill increases your sanity. sanity. I'm just going to call it sanity. Every sanity increases your damage by 50%. Increases your magic attack for the second passive and increases your magic attack. And using the second skill permanently increases Gluttony's received single damage from all enemies by 80, 18% with stacks up to 10%? Oh, 10 times. God damn it. Why is it so small? <laughs> I wish I had like a little zoom in. I need to probably find a site. I think actually open up the browser will be a lot easier. I'm going to do that next time. I think that'll be a lot, lot easier. Jesus Christ, it's so small. <laughs> okay. Increases uh, additional boss damage for all allies using, which one is that? Using the first skill and the second skill inflicts additional 50% of additional damage Saturday can now stack up to a thousand times Jesus Christ 
Uh, no, no. I was about to say, I think this is the first character that has a thousand sacks, but then I just remember Prome. Yeah, he could do the same thing with his gauge and stuff. Every time one enemy dies, gain additional sanity. Wait a minute. He gains one sanity, like, not too often, to be honest, now that I think about it. It's based off kills, how many times he uses his first and second skill, I think. No, it, every time he uses his second skill, he gains one. Maybe, maybe he'll get more as we go. Hold up. Okay. Using the third skill increases your magic attack and your ranged attack second phase every time. Stacks up to eight ties <laughs> I think that's what that says yeah yeah that's eight ties <laughs> stacks up to eight times <laughs> increases your additional boss damage and your wait okay that's a typo I think increases your additional boss damage and something by third 318% for all allies ah Oh boy. All right, now I can stack up to 2,000 times using your first skill, your second skill, and your third skill in Siege and Loot inflicts additional 150 damage per satiety. Using the Mart as Foods, which is your second skill, Increases received single target damage from all enemies. This stacks up to 20 times using the third skill. Increases your single target damage, your boss damage, your range damage, second phase every time. And this stacks up to nine times. Increases single target and magic for all allies. Each infinity enhances increases single target and magic damage for all allies. Okay. Got past the really tedious stuff. Jesus Christ, man. That's so small and bunch together. I like it better when they were just putting it down the line and not side by side because it had way bigger text and were easier to read. But, Okay. All right, affinity abilities increases additional boss damage for all allies inside of Siege and Loot. Siege and Loot, additional boss damage for the second skill. Okay, well, all right. So I guess seeing additional... No. Aren't the first two... I think... No, okay, hold up. That second <laughs> infinity ability... Is definitely a typo because that is the name of the first passive or first infinity ability. So it's supposed to be a magic attack increase for that second. Okay. And the single target is increased. All you need to know is that your magic damage is increased for the second one. We don't know by how much. So, yeah. I can say Gluttony is not half bad, especially if you want to do better inside of Siege and um, Kill Loot. That's for sure. But, but but above that, I'm going for Lust. I have to. Like, she she is so strong. And I need to get rid of those Gray Souls. Mm. Getting rid of Gray Souls is going to be fun. <laughs> well, and Jin, to be honest. All those insta-kills that everybody relies on have just been pretty much destroyed because Lust can pretty much carry her fucking self, which is insane. Even if she's the only one on the field and you have, like, a full team, there's still a chance that she can just seduce somebody and your whole team is just going to turn on that one teammate and just basically screw you over pretty easily. But she would have to be, like, Arch to do something like that, and I want an affinity card of her. That'd be cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I do apologize for all that reading and 
hassling and shit, dude. It's way too damn small. Second, for one, and secondly, there are quite a few typos that threw me off. So I apologize for that. But we all know that Drag- Dragon Blaze translations have always been like that, you know, with serious typos and stuff. Yeah, but it's all right. As long as we got through it and we know the basics of what's going to be happening or somewhat, it's all good. But with that said, guys, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. It took us like 25 minutes just to finish all that. Jesus Christ. Wednesday 3. All right, we still got a few hours until day 2 E3 goes up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.